<laughs> Time for something heavy outside our Beacon Hill studio. Peter Kadges of the former Boston Phoenix. Cosmo Macero of O'Neill and Associates. They are the heavy hitters. And gentlemen, let's start with this. Obama Scare reads the headline. As the president is telling you how great Obamacare is in the three weeks, there's a woman passing out behind him, Cosmo. The symbolism is right there palpable. It really is. Obamacare is a big mess technologically. You know, I got to say, how'd you like to be the website guy for Obamacare, the web vendor, right? Chance of a lifetime. Honey, this is great. I'm so proud of you. President gets on TV. Hi, our website sucks. Talk about you'll never work in this town again. I mean, they... how about the president's <laughs> message? Obamacare is good, even if the website isn't. Well, they're two different things. Although Are they? The, the the disaster of the website, um, uh, believe it or not, has been equal before when uh, Medicaid was ro uh, was rolled out. <laughs> um, th these things do happen. However, Kathleen Sebelius, uh, the woman in Washington yeah. in charge of all this, uh, that she hasn't been given the boot already astounds me. By the way, not only for this debacle, but also, when I've seen her on talk shows, she can't explain the Don program. Uh, not a good day. Not well, a good day for that. It's time okay. to consult PayPal here. E-commerce is not exactly <laughs> is not exactly that. And I'm not talking about Amazon or eBay here. I'm talking about every Joe Schmo retail in America. It's got a website. You click a button, boom. You're, you're buying whatever they're selling. Can't do it with the healthcare.gov. Once you register, click on another domain to sign in because you'll be timed out otherwise. That's insane. A lot of people getting fired on this. A lot of people getting fired. Let's get closer to home. Suffolk Downs. Is it Suffolk out, I guess, oh. is the question. Oh, it's Suffolk Downs. It's the Obamacare of Boston. I mean, it, 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 it's uh, it's it's another uh, it, it's another big mess. And I have to say, you say, well, no one would know this would happen. I don't buy that. Let's forget the shady Ruski. Um, if you look at the debt that Caesars had, um, why the people promoting that didn't think there might be a problem uh, because of the, the large indebtedness of, of Caesars is beyond me. And now, of course, we have the foolishness of having an election on November 5th, which I understand why we'd have it because of voter fatigue and you want a lot of people to turn out. But we don't know what we're voting for. I say, that like as a right. I say that as a Boston resident who, of course, doesn't get to vote because I live in Jamaica Plain, I think the big, Boston. I think the big takeaway here is no matter what other commissions and other states do, this gaming commission has its own standards, and they're very tough. And, and they're, they're good. And they're, and and they're good. good. And they're taking a very hard line. And some will not pass, as we've seen, that standard. Some will. Some already have. But this gaming commission is taking a very hard stance. My prediction on Suffolk Downs, they will get a premier operator, like someone else, like a Hard Rock or other, to come in. How that impacts, though, the vote, is it remains to be seen, because people may lose confidence. They will get someone in there. It's I too, think it's interesting. It's too important of an opportunity. Don't you think it's interesting that they're using this too to important. show that the fix isn't in and that the Gaming Commission is indeed independent? But if Suffolk ends up getting it, those conspiracy theories are going to be even bigger and more emboldened that the fix I don't, isn't in. No, the, the Gaming yeah. Commission is is doing its job, and I'm pleased to see that. I'd say, I, I think it's, the, it's, a, it's about the most transparent and difficult process that's been created in Massachusetts. Quickly, Dan Wolf too. is out running for governor. He's the head of the Cape Air, and there was the ethics committee thing. He said, you know what, screw it, I'm out. First thoughts? I thought way back when there was a solution here. There was a solution to put his assets in a blind trust and then move on with the campaign. For whatever reason, the Ethics Commission wasn't going to let anything like that happen. It's too bad because I think we miss an interesting candidate as part of Quick this campaign. <laughs> I'm mystified. I think it's too bad, but so be it. They ruled. These are who we want running for office until Beacon Hill decides we don't want them running for office. So well, here we go. Uh, uh, taking ethics into account is rather novel on Beacon <laughs> Hill, so I have to applaud the innovation. Peter Cadges, Cosmo Macero, they're the heavy hitters. Fox 25 News at 8 starts right now.